When it comes to single player games, Sony has long had the edge over its console rivals. This is because many of PlayStation Studios' most talented developers focus primarily on narrative-driven experiences these days, which has resulted in some of the best single player games of all time being released exclusively on PlayStation consoles. Granted, many big PlayStation exclusives have also been released on PC in recent years, but Sony still reigns supreme in the home console space. The best single-player PS5 games are among the industry's very finest, and provide players with settings and storylines that are capable of keeping them engaged from start to finish. What's going on everyone, Jeffrey here, welcome to Game Rant. In this video, I'll be showcasing 10 of the very best single-player games to enjoy on your PS5, so let's dive into the list. Number 10, Ratchet & Clank Rift Apart. There are plenty of great platformers on the PS5, but none that are quite like Ratchet & Clank Rift Apart. Released in mid-2021, the game's Rift Tether mechanic is a lot of fun to play around with, while the huge arsenal of weapons at the player's disposal allows for some truly unique combat encounters and helps to keep things fresh right up until the final boss. Like a lot of other first-party exclusives, the game also features a wide array of accessibility options, helping to ensure that people of all ages and abilities can enjoy what it has to offer. Rift Apart marks a true return to form for everybody's favorite Lombax and Robot duo, and is one of the best single-player titles on the PlayStation 5 thus far. Number 9, Horizon Forbidden West. The playable protagonist design may have drawn some criticism, but few can dispute the beauty of Horizon Forbidden West's luscious open world. It's one of the best-looking games on the PS5 and backs up its impressive visuals with a thought-provoking narrative and a suite of wonderfully well-realized gameplay mechanics. Forbidden West picks up where its predecessor left off, with Aloy and Silas trying to learn more about the Far Zeniths. The Burning Shores DLC further fleshes out the series' lore, while also introducing a few new mechanics, one of which allows the player's mount to dive underwater. It's one of the best single-player games on the PS5, and a reminder of why Sony rules the roost when it comes to first-party exclusives. Number 8, Resident Evil 4 Remake for the most part, Capcom has done an exceptional job of remaking some of the older Resident Evil games, and 2023's Resident Evil 4 is no exception in this regard. In fact, some will perhaps argue that it's the pick of the bunch, with only the Resident Evil 2 remake really coming close to the brilliance of this hugely influential game. Not all of the changes are for the better, but those made to the companion character Ashley make the remake a lot less frustrating, while the work done to flesh out some of the game's secondary characters helps to improve the game's narrative. To a certain extent, though, this is as much a reimagining as it is a remake, with the 2023 title offering a different, albeit familiar, experience. Number 7, Ghost of Tsushima Director's Cut Some of the visuals on display throughout Ghost of Tsushima are absolutely stunning. This is especially true of the Director's Cut of the game for the PlayStation 5, which offers a myriad of improvements over the PS4 original, including haptic feedback, support for higher resolutions and frame rates, and much faster loading times. It also includes the fantastic Iki Island DLC, which is a must-play for fans of the base version of the game. Jin Sakai's story is an incredibly compelling one and serves as a great example of why so many people love single-player games. He spends just as much time fighting the morals and ideals that his uncle ingrained within him as he does the invading Mongols, and players are given a front-row seat to enjoy his gradual transition into the titular ghost and the emotional turmoil that comes along with it. Number 6, Uncharted Legacy of Thieves Collection Some developers have trouble knowing when to call time on a character's journey, dragging it out to lengths so unnecessarily long that players simply stop caring. Thankfully, Naughty Dog is not one of these developers, with Uncharted 4 A Thief's End providing a satisfying conclusion to the personal journey of one of the most compelling video game characters of all time. Uncharted Legacy of Thieves Collection allows a new generation of players to experience Nathan Drake's last hurrah, as well as the hugely underrated Uncharted The Lost Legacy. Both titles already looked fantastic prior to being remastered, but the power of the PS5 brings the game's graphics to all new heights. The remasters also make excellent use of the console's adaptive triggers. Number 5, The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. Geralt's actions may at times be a bit morally gray than Drake's, but the character is every bit as lovable, if not more so. Just like Naughty Dog, CD Projekt Red made the brave decision to conclude the character's journey at the end of The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt, with the future Witcher titles set to star a brand new protagonist rather than the fan favorite Witcher. To say that The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt provides a fitting conclusion to Geralt's tale would perhaps be a bit of an understatement. 
It's one of the best single player games ever made, with a fantastic narrative and plenty of incredible side content. The PS5 version offers plenty of big improvements over its PS4 predecessor, making it a great option for those looking to relive the CD Projekt Red classic or experience it for the very first time. Number 4. The Last of Us Part 1 Having already been remastered for the PS4 back in 2014, it could perhaps be argued that The Last of Us Part 1 was an unnecessary endeavor on Naughty Dog's part. However, few would dare dispute the fact that the PS5 version of The Last of Us Part 1 offers a much better experience than the 2014 remaster, with the first act of Ellie and Joel's journey having been lovingly remade from the ground up. Those who already own The Last of Us Remastered probably don't need to splash out for the 2022 remake, at least not at full price anyway. However, for those who enjoyed the fantastic HBO series and are now looking to check out the game for the first time, The Last of Us Part 1 really is a no-brainer. It's also an excellent choice for anyone looking for an incredible narrative-driven experience, as very few games can offer better. Number 3. Marvel's Spider-Man 2 Superhero games have come an awfully long way over the past few decades, with Spider-Man and Batman doing much of the heavy lifting. Marvel's Spider-Man 2 arguably perfects the formula, building upon the strong foundations laid by its 2018 predecessor, while also offering up one of the best Spider-Man video game storylines in recent memory. Although the game does struggle to balance out its two playable protagonists, time in the spotlight, and the combat can at times feel a little repetitive, these issues are easy to overlook due to how much fun the overall experience can be. As a result, Marvel Spider-Man 2 is one of the best single-player PS5 games and a must-play for fans of superhero games. Number 2. Elden Ring Elden Ring is a phenomenal game on just about every level. It looks great, the combat is fantastic, and the lore of the lands between is incredibly well fleshed out. Granted, like many other From Software titles, the game does feature some multiplayer elements, but the optional nature of Elden Ring's multiplayer arguably places the game very firmly in single-player territory. Those looking for a challenging yet rewarding game can definitely find that here, not to mention a surprising amount of options when it comes to character builds. Certain setups can completely change the gameplay experience for players, allowing them to play to their own personal strengths or mix things up a little to provide an additional layer of challenge. Number 1. God of War Ragnarok There really is very little to choose between God of War Ragnarok and Elden Ring, with the two titles going blow for blow across various 2022 Game Awards ceremonies. Kratos and Atreus have the edge when it comes to user friendliness though, with the conclusion to the pair's adventure through Norse mythology catering to a much broader demographic due to the game's simpler combat system and its fantastic selection of accessibility options. This isn't to say that God of War Ragnarok is easy, far from it in fact. Playing the game on Give Me God of War mode can be every bit as challenging as some of Elden Ring's toughest content, if not more so. There's plenty of fantastic side content on offer too, which when combined with the excellent story and everything else that Santa Monica Studio was able to cram in, makes God of War Ragnarok one of the best single player games on the PS5, if not the very best. And there we have it everyone, 10 of the very best single player games to play on PlayStation 5. Thank you so much for watching this video from Game Rant. Be sure to check out all sorts of other top notch gaming content, including more lists, news, reviews, guides, originals, and so much more right here on Game Rant. Have a truly wonderful and happy day everyone, we'll see you in the next video, bye bye.